when it's like outer chaos, like right now, I always want to change my hair drastically. And so, Monday, January 3rd, the day we get back to reality. I'm starting the day <clears throat> putting some laundry away. Workout clothes are on. We're going to do a workout after this. Nice deep stretch, followed by something that will make me sweaty, and then a deep stretch again. Got a bit of a nip, what? Got a bit of a hip, knee, ankle thing going on, and it must be addressed by stretching. Let's start this day. So, Jack, what game are we playing today? Yoshi's Created World. Yoshi's Creative World. We picked up two new games, Splatoon 2 and Yoshi's Creative World, but which didn't cost much. Uh, well, wasn't like, cheap. Yeah, I know, but like the Yoshi's Creative World was not like the most expensive. Esme, I like how this looks like a happy, joyful video. Meanwhile, you're both trying to kill each other. <laughs> Siblings. Well, what's great about this rink is our this is our neighbor's place. They're out for the evening, actually. But anyway, this is our neighbor's rink, and uh, our buddy Steve works on this rink. I don't think he'll watch this video, but Steve, you have a beautiful rink. His boys love playing hockey. And our yard is right here. And so we usually have a pool in the summer, and their boys swim at our house nearly every day on those beautiful hot days. So it's a lovely trade-off. We've got the pool in the summer. Oh, that was a double wipeout. I gotta go. We have a crisis. So nice. Dean cooked a beautiful chicken inside our. It's okay. Inside our fancy new dish, and you made stuffing. What's the occasion? Nothing. <laughs> I'm excited to eat. I did a really big workout. Oh my god, that looks good. Gravy. So hungry. I don't, have to, I don't know where the whisk goes, you know? Is the whisk hiding in there? No. Oh, here it is. Whisk. He makes the world's best gravy all the time. Dean does. Dean does. Hello, girls. You ready for dinner? Very yeah. much so. What are you guys going to do after it. dinner? We're going to bury it. Why are you so sad? Because I live that way. With my sister. Duh. Amen. Think about it. <laughs> Weirdos. Hey, coming at you with my very disgusting hair. <laughs> I should have probably done this like yesterday, uh, but my hair needs a wash. And instead of just jumping in which i shower my body every day but i don't always shower my hair mostly because it doesn't always need a wash every day but right now we are needing one and i've been holding off because i want to dye it with this stuff my house needs a deep clean for the bathrooms so it's disgusting in here and i'm just ugh, you know i wish i could just tap out and get someone else to do this but we are saving money this year and i'm trying to be good so we will not be not that we've had, but we will not be doing any extra spending like on cleaning services or anything. Gosh, that would be amazing. Anyway, so I have plans tomorrow to clean the bathrooms <sighs> and they really need it. I've let it go like two weekends too long. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, let's do this to my hair. This says pastel lavender. However, it's definitely this color, which is like a periwinkle blue. I quite like it. I've used it before. Courtney did give me the heads up to say that the rose gold and the and the pink actually perform better than this color, which is fine, but I actually want to tone my hair darker right now. Um, I get really restless energy when it comes to my hair and I'm and I find when it's like outer chaos like right now, I always want to change my hair drastically. And so instead of doing anything drastic right now, I'm just going to color it with this and this is great. These bottles go for like 48, 49 Canadian on Amazon. And then, um, you know, it lasts me a couple of washes. The first one obviously uses more product than 
future ones. Uh, but the plan is pop it in my hair. Then what does it say? It doesn't really tell you like five minutes. I'm going to leave it on for like a good 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to basically make some beds. I'll put this on. Then I'm going to make beds, gather up laundry, and kind of get everything ready to go for downstairs. Because my plan is do the laundry today. I have to do some work today. i got to shoot some stuff for some partnerships, um, which I don't typically do on a Saturday. But, you know, I'm giving myself grace with this first week back to school after winter break because we were doing virtual learning. And it's honestly, a, I wouldn't say it's chaotic. It's just like it's like trudging through quicksand or something. Like every time I do one thing, I feel like I sink a little deeper because I couldn't multitask well or, um, but I'm prioritizing like getting things that are due, helping my kids and then focusing on the whole self-care situation, sleeping, reading, walking, moving, meditation. I'm like, who even am I? So we're not gonna beat ourselves up for things we didn't do, okay? It's a weird time of year. Let's not do that. Let's do our hair, deal. I need to find some gloves. I have gloves. I don't want to ruin my manicure, you guys. We're celebrating no matter how big or small. Finished result. So it's definitely patchy. Uh, but I love the tone of it and I'm kind of instead of using the word patchy I'm just like it's highlighted with little pops of cool purple and warm purple and I like it It's quite fun. I was really really not feeling that blonde that warm blonde like I have a really high mineral content in my water in the city that I live it just deposits into my hair and it is it's a nightmare and uh, I always forget how pale I get in the winters in Ontario and this cool toned face needs cool toned air, you know? So anyway, I'm loving it. It's kind of fun. And of course, the more you wash with that shampoo, the more color that deposits. So probably on my next shampoo, I'll use it again. Um, and then maybe one more time and then just see how it fades. Um, you know, I gotta go back to those darker tones. I was really feeling it and then I made like a rash decision to go blonde and I just, I gotta be honest, I haven't really loved it since I did it. Um, you know, sometimes you just like make, I don't know, for me, I make very quick decisions for my hair. Oh well, I might do it again. You know I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm also really procrastinating. Let's go get some stuff done, okay. It's bathroom cleaning time. I already did the basement one. I've started laundry, doing my bed sheets cooking i should turn the heat down and of course i'm listening to crime junkie and uh yeah we're doing the deep clean toilets you know windex sides of walls tubs you name it and then um after that i'm going to vacuum i'm going to mop the floors and then essentially do just like a quick tidy and then i'm done <laughs> so much work so much work room all nice and tidy I managed to sneak in there Jack's room all nice and tidy I vacuumed my room I need to make my bed and now I'm about to clean the bathroom before I am NOT organizing this but eventually I need I do need to do a huge declutter what like there's paint up here oh yeah yeah anyway Let's, uh, actually I am gonna bring those downstairs because I'm sick of looking at that. Anyway, but yeah, time to clean and then, ah, and then I'm gonna have a shower and just chill out because I am exhausted now. It's, uh, it's 5.23. I've been going all afternoon. I'm tired now. Ta-da, success. She's sparkly, she smells good, she's tidy, and I moved all those, those paints and stuff. It's funny how you get used to things. Like I didn't even know that that paint was there. It's probably been there for months, but your eyes just stop seeing it. Anyway, somebody looks, uh, somebody looks pretty cozy there, I think. Well, I gotta make my bed momentarily. I'm done, guys. I finished that bathroom. I just need to put away all the things. Success. I'm so excited right now because I have a new desk chair in this box. 
Okay, so this chair, I've had it for like a hundred years. If you spend any time watching my YouTube content, you've seen this chair. This chair, I got it when I was living in my old house. It's a chair, chairs last a long, you know, they last a long time, but it's time. Classic gray chair, bought it from Staples many moons ago. It's comfortable. I like that it's material, not cold on the skin or anything, and it hides dirt. But this, my friends, this is about to change, change everything. It's called a Piper Song Meditation Chair. Let me show you. I'm obsessed with my chair. Oh my goodness, I need to show you at a better angle. Do you see how comfy my legs are? It's like this chair was made for my hips. I feel myself sitting engaged all day that I've been sitting at my desk. And I, I will keep you posted on this, but I do feel like I'm more alert because I'm not like sunk into my chair with a blanket. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. And I've been having a lot of trouble with this hip. This hip's been really aching and hurting into my knee and my ankle and I haven't quite figured out what it is. Um, I've been really upping my game when it comes to stretching before and after my workout, so that's helping. But yeah, anyway, I'm really excited to see how this chair helps me. And I took my old chair and I put it in the garage. So <laughs> Dean's just thrilled because <laughs> he has his own work chair now for his workbench because that's where his workspace is and that's where he does all of our candles and everything. Um, I have news. I have these beautiful roller balls that have just launched in the shop and I really want to share them with you. So I'm hoping to do that very soon. It's just typical, it's 20 to six and I'm finally finishing my work day. Um, this is the thing like with the kids doing at home learning, it's a lot of stop, start, stop, start the whole day and they're doing really well, as good as can be expected. It's just that part is really hard to adjust to as the parent, you know, anyway. I just had to come in and tell you about my chair because like I'm obsessed, obsessed. What did you make for dinner, sir? Oh yes. Beef, potatoes, bok choy, yeah. <gasps> and that's like a horseradish situation? Yeah. Oh yes, bon appetitos. <laughs> glasses that's what I'd like to know yeah apparently the kids are going back to school oh my god I'm so excited they did have a really good day yesterday well the boys did as my prefers in-person learning I think like most children anyway well here's what I'm doing today <sighs> a bunch of things got a pretty decent to-do list interviewing Joanna nesting story on our new project so that'll be coming out soon for the podcast and then I have a video coming out today but right now I'm trying to set up this thermal printer that prints labels for Frendo because we've launched these new bad boys. Did I tell you about these yet? So these are three roller balls. We have one for anxiety and this one is called pre-flight. We have one for sleep and this one's called dream magic. One for headaches and it's called mind warp. And I don't know if you've ever used a roller ball, but I have and I really love them. In fact, Mind Warp, this style is something that I travel with all the time. I love having something with a strong peppermint smell that I can just and when you're wearing a mask all day, like it kind of refreshes the feeling, you know? Um, but I always travel with one like that. I have Dream Magic right beside my bed. I've been testing that out for a few weeks. And Anxiety one I keep by my desk. It's just like, you know, it's a type of scent that doesn't overpower you. Like I love scent, I've always loved perfumes, but I found in the last few years I haven't been wearing as many perfumes as much as I really love them. Um, for me, perfume is something I wear when I leave the house. I haven't been leaving the house much for those kind of fancy purposes. Anyway, so Dean recently made these. We've launched them in the store. You can buy them as a set of three or just individual. And um, they're just, it's just something I'm really proud of. It's a new thing for us, because as you know, we've sold mostly candles and um, we're just we're trying something new. So I'd love to hear your feedback if you do try it and I will link everything below. Anyway, so today, yeah, I'm, I gotta do this thing for Dean. And um, actually, I'm gonna put some of this on right now. A little shake shake. Ooh, I do like this anxiety one. I like to put it right here. I find that's like, I 
smell it throughout the day. There we go. All right. Amanda, tech hat on. Let's go. <laughs> it's funny because I find the chair sort of looks like something you'd see at the dentist office, um, but it's amazing. So you got the low back. This thing moves all the way around. And so you can sit. I personally really like sitting like this. So like hips open, low back supported. Look at that booty. <laughs> But you can sit with your legs crossed, which I also really enjoy doing. It's just so dang comfortable. You can move it aside if you don't want it. You can sit normal. Um, some people sit with their legs behind. That one I don't find as comfortable. You can also turn this thing around. Sit like... I, I prefer this hip open and down, That's where we're, and then this leg up, but I've always sat weird. Like even at the dinner table, I like to have one leg up and under my body um, and sitting like this. And I was saying to Dean yesterday, like the one thing I'm finding really different about this particular chair is it forces my core to stay really strong and my posture to stay tall because you're sitting, right? Without slouching into a chair. And I mean, it's only day two with this chair, so time will tell, but I'm already seeing a difference in my productivity, oddly enough. Like, you know, by the way, as much as this chair was gifted, um, the company hasn't asked me to say anything about it. I was just lucky enough to receive a chair and I'm in the market for a new chair. Like I was saying, I really wanted to get a new one this year. And um, yeah, I just find like it forced me to stay upright. Like when I sit down, I'm not passively sitting here i'm like actively sitting who would have thought right anyway i will link it below for those of you that are curious and want to learn more um and i plan to do like a little reel or something soon just to show the different ways that i've been using it but it's really comfortable i can't believe it you can meditate in it if you want to um i noticed that it really appeals to artists and to people who like to meditate and i just find for me i sit weird and I always have like I always have a foot hanging off the side of a chair or something um, and here I just feel less constricted like I can sit however I want so it's very exciting listen I get a lot of joy out of the small things in life and I do spend a lot of time at this desk so love my new chair oh and I won't show you of course the addresses but I figured out the label um I figured out how to do the label so I'm really pumped anyway Look at me, getting shit done. And the kids go back to school next week. <laughs> I think. Let me confirm that real quick before I get too dang excited. They're going back, I'm so excited. Children need school, children need each other. Um, I personally chose to vaccinate my children and so like that was, a, that was a tough decision for me, okay? It's one thing to make a decision for myself that impacts my health because I feel like Anyway, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it, but I did it. And then I was hella mad that they were not in school. Like, why did I do all of that? You know, I'm not here to contest whether or not COVID is a thing, the reality of it. I believe it. I believe in science. Okay. But when I do something and you tell me that we're going to be free and have all of this, and then it's all taken away again, it's going to make me mad, you know? So anyway, I'm really excited for them to go back. Kids need it. I will not go into specifics for the privacy of my children, but I will say that it has been very challenging and it's not the challenges you would expect. It's like this ripple effect of big, massive, awful, traumatic change in their life and then all the little offshoots of shit that falls apart because of it. And yeah, I need them in school. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you feel as good as I do. If you're in Ontario and your kids are about to go back High five, man. We freaking did it. I see you. I am you. I'm in this with you. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.